Servus, herzliches Grüß Gott und Hallo zusammen. Herzlich Willkommen auf dem Leitenberger Kanal. Mein Name ist Helmut Ramp. Ich bin Vertriebsleiter bei der Autotestgeräte Leitenberger GmbH. Heute möchte ich euch ein sehr interessantes Werkzeug vorstellen. Mit VAS 542007 ist die Reinigung von Abgasrückfuhrmodulen von Fahrzeugen der Volkswagen Group im eingebauten Zustand möglich. Dieses heiße Thema kennt doch jede Werkstatt. Wo es eine Abgasrückführung gibt, gibt es auch Ruß. Rußansammlungen im Luftansaugtrakt führen zu Leistungsverlust, erhöhtem Kraftstoffverbrauch und last but not least zum Aufleuchten der Motorkontrollleuchte und Fehlereintrag. Ich denke, es ist uns allen klar, dass mit einer leuchtenden Motorkontrollleuchte die nächste Fachwerkstatt angefahren werden sollte. Mit einer leuchtenden Motorkontrollleuchte zur Hauptuntersuchung zu fahren, ist auch keine gute Idee. Jetzt gibt es zwei Optionen. Austausch des AGR-Moduls oder die preiswerte Reinigung des AGR-Moduls. Die Reinigung des AGR-Moduls ist mit dem Gerät VAS 542007, dem Reiniger und der entsprechenden Serviceliteratur möglich. Fazit. Die Reinigung eines AGR-Moduls ist immer preiswerter als dessen Tausch. Dies ermöglicht insbesondere bei älteren Fahrzeugen eine zeitwertgerechte Reparatur. Die genannten Teile sind über die Servicepartner der Volkswagen Group weltweit zu beziehen. Der Verkauf der genannten Teile erfolgt ausschließlich an gewerbliche Kunden. Auf dem Leitenberger Kanal gibt es ein weiteres spannendes Video zum Thema Reinigung von NFZ AGR Modulen. Auch die Volkswagen Group ist an einer nachhaltigen Reparatur interessiert und empfiehlt daher spülen statt tauschen. Besten Dank an die Volkswagen Group, dass wir dieses Video zeigen dürfen. So Freunde, das war's für heute von mir. Ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem folgenden Video. If the exhaust emissions warning lamp and or the glow plug indicator light up, The exhaust gas recirculation module may be sooted. This can happen to vehicles which are mainly used on short tracks. The following event memory error codes will confirm this diagnosis. P040100 exhaust gas recirculation system, flow rate too low. Or P046C00, sender 1 for exhaust gas recirculation, implausible signal. In both cases, the exhaust gas recirculation module is sooted and must be cleaned. But there's no need to remove the exhaust gas recirculation module to do this. First, check whether the relevant exhaust gas recirculation module can be cleaned at all. The indexes on the module will provide you with this information. For clearer presentation, we have removed the diesel particulate filter. Older exhaust gas recirculation modules must not be cleaned. Only modules with the DP and DQ indexes can be cleaned. For more information, refer to the relevant technical product information. If the exhaust gas recirculation module can be cleaned, use the VAS 542-007 cooler flushing system for exhaust gas recirculation. It consists of a pump, and a container with cleaning liquid. The intake hose, guides the liquid towards the pump. The pump then conveys the liquid through the supply hose to the exhaust gas recirculation module. The return hose returns the liquid into the container. From the container, the liquid is once again sucked into the system and the process is repeated.
First, remove the connecting pipe between the intake manifold and the cylinder head. To do this, remove the clamp from the intake manifold side and unscrew the connecting piece at the cylinder head. Next, remove the connecting pipe and its connection. The flushing system is supplied with this adapter. Attach it to the cylinder head flange. And tighten the original screws hand tight so the seal is not damaged. Now remove the connecting pipe between the exhaust manifold and the exhaust gas recirculation module. Unlock the electric plug connector at the exhaust gas recirculation valve and disconnect it. Replace it with the plug connection for the valve actuator. Use the original screws to attach the second adapter from the flushing system to the opening of the exhaust gas recirculation module, once again ensuring the seal is not damaged. Connect the supply hose of the flushing system to this adapter. The return hose is connected to the adapter located at the cylinder head. The cleaning pump is powered via the vehicle battery. So make sure you connect it to a battery charger. Connect the valve actuator terminal clamps to the vehicle battery. Finally, connect the pump to the battery. Fill the canister for cleaning liquid with 9 litres of 40 to 50 degrees Celsius warm water and add one liter of cleaning solution. Connect the pump intake hose to the connection at the canister lid. Guide the return hose through the opening of the canister lid to half the height of the canister. Now when you switch on the valve actuator, the exhaust gas recirculation valve will open. After finishing the preparations, you can start the flushing process. Switch on the pump and flush for 25 minutes. The cleaning process involves several steps. After a short time, the liquid will become discolored. Turn off the pump again after 25 minutes and allow the cleaning solution to take effect for 10 minutes. Once the exposure time elapses, switch on the pump and start the flushing process again for 25 minutes. During the flushing process, you can clean the connecting pipes and the pipe connection. To do so, use the ultrasonic cleaning unit. Fill the bath with 1,800 milliliters of tap water. Warm water will reduce the device's heating time. Then add 200 milliliters of cleaner. Place the pipe connection and the two connecting pipes in the bath and switch on the cleaning unit. Rotate the temperature control until the display reads 40 degrees Celsius. Set the operating time to 10 minutes. Once you switch on the device, 
The cleaning process will start when the liquid reaches 40 degrees Celsius. Let's get back to the flushing process. After 25 minutes, switch off the pump and remove the intake hose. Switch the pump on again to remove most of the liquid from the system. When air is pushed through the return hose into the canister, switch off the pump. Remove the return hose. Dispose of the liquid according to local regulations. Next, add 10 litres of 40 to 50 degrees Celsius warm water to the canister. Connect the intake hose again and insert the return hose into a suitable vessel. Again, observe the regulations applicable in your country. Switch on the pump and wait until the water has passed completely through the exhaust gas recirculation system. Afterwards, remove the supply hose from the adapter installed at the exhaust gas recirculation module and attach the compressed air adapter. Connect the other side with the depressurized compressed air hose. Insert the return hose into the canister. Make sure it cannot detach itself. The compressed air is now used to force the remaining water out of the exhaust gas recirculation system. Make sure there is absolutely no water left in the transparent hose and thus in the system. Any water remaining in the system can damage the engine. Switch off the compressed air and the valve actuator. Remove all the adapters and install the connecting pipes. Finally, delete the event memory and check whether the cleaning process has been successful. To do so, carry out a test drive. Let's watch the cleaning result. On the left, you can see the sooted exhaust gas recirculation cooler and on the right, the cleaned component. If the event memory has no entries after the test drive, the exhaust gas recirculation module and the engine's emission control are both performing well again.